We all know that My Hero Academia has some good openings, and we all also know that some openings are better than others. If you want to find out how I'd rank them, stick around because it's your boy the Hot Rodster here, and in this video, I am going to rank all of these openings. There are currently 9 openings for this anime, and I'm going to be going through each, one by one, ranking them from worst to best. These rankings are completely subjective as they are all centered around my personal opinions and tastes in music. I just have to say that because sometimes people get mad when they see openings ranked differently than how they would rank them. But no matter how you feel about these rankings, you can still click that subscribe button and comment your personal rankings down in the description. But with that out of the way, let's get into the official Hot Rod Sir opening rankings. Number 9 Sora ni Utaiba This was the third opening of the show, and to be honest, it was also the most boring of them all. I personally didn't hate it, but this opening was just so forgettable, and I honestly didn't get hyped when I heard it. I thought I would actually like this more when I rewatched it, since I tend to have a bias for openings when they cover my favorite arcs, and the hero killer arc was definitely up there for me. There's nothing wrong with the singing, the singing is just fine. The visuals probably could have been a bit better though. Overall, this opening just didn't get me hyped enough to enjoy this show, so it'll have to take 9th place on this list. Number 8 Make My Story. This was the fifth opening and it was significantly better than Soi Ni Utaiba. I liked both the music and the visuals way more than I liked the previous one. I don't even know where to start. I really enjoyed how upbeat this was. There was a very optimistic tone with all of the smiles, which was a real contrast to the previous arc, the Hideout Raid arc, where the symbol of peace had its last battle. This whole song's theme was that it was the younger generation's turn to, well, make their story, which ties it back to the title of this song. We see this clearly with stuff like All Might pushing Deku to move forward and with the transition from Endeavor to Shoto. I guess the main reason why it's so low on this list is because I didn't really like the provisional license exam arc, so I have a bit of a bias against it. Number 7 Number 1 this was the 8th opening of this series, and I got a bit to say about this one. I don't know why I like it as much as I do, especially since I disliked the joint training arc. I believe this opening is mostly carried by its visuals though. Seeing Deku suiting up and walking out at the beginning just looked super cool. It looked like he was getting ready to take care of some serious business, when in reality he was just getting ready for school. One visual that I really liked was the tease of the Shinsho and Deku rematch. All of the action scenes mixed with the music really well, but that one specifically got me hyped to watch even an arc as boring as this one. Number 6 Star Maker. This was the seventh opening of My Hero Academia, and it was amazing. I really like upbeat music, and this one was plenty of beat. It actually contrasted the previous arc quite a bit, since it ended on a sad note with Sir Night Eye's death. I heard a lot of people didn't like this opening for that specific reason, but I personally didn't really care much for Night Eye as a character, so that wasn't really a factor for me. But the upbeat music and the bright colors just really set the tone of the upcoming festival arc, and it got me in a good mood before the episode even started. I especially like the parts where the music slowed down a bit and we got to focus on individual characters like Shoto, Bakugo, and Deku. And I love the fast parts where it picks up again and we get to see a lot of great action and animation. Overall, it was just a great opening and I loved it so much more than the previous ones on this list. Number 5 Merry Go Round this was the ninth and most recent opening for this series, and as much as I love it, I do have mixed feelings about the visuals. My criticisms fall in line with most people's criticisms of these visuals, which is that it is superhero oriented. And that was a good thing for the Endeavor Agency arc, but not so great for the Meta Liberation Army arc. I feel like there definitely should have been a switch in visuals in order to get me excited for the villain part, but nothing really changed. The only thing that did was that the title switched from My Hero Academia to My Villain Academia. I thought that was cool, but there definitely should have been more. But visuals aside, the actual music was amazing. I remember that when I first listened to this song, it got stuck in my head for a really long time, especially the parts that went, the carousel goes up and goes down, and merry-go-round revolving around do the senga wo amite. So despite the visuals not changing much, I definitely think that merry-go-round deserves to be in my top five. 
Number four. The Day. This is the first and arguably one of the best openings of this show. I saw this theme a couple years before I even watched this show and it's what motivated me to get into the series. The visuals on this opening were definitely some of the best as it was able to tell a story without spoiling too much. They showed Deku reaching out for All Might because he is everything Deku's ever wanted to be. Then they showed a depressed Deku with all of his hero notes which conveyed that he didn't believe in himself and that he could only admire others. They even showcased the Deku and Bakugo rivalry and how it pushed him to become a hero. I know this anime hasn't been out for long, but even listening to this music just gives me a nostalgic feeling. That's probably because it was made by Porno Graffiti, and they made some other, older anime openings as well. This was amazing and one of the best, but there are still three that top it. Number 3 Odd Future this is the fourth opening and it is honestly one of the best. We are in the top three in terms of rankings, so this is getting pretty serious now. Odd Future has some of the best visuals compared to all of the openings in this series. I especially enjoyed that one team with All Might powering up before he takes on All For One. This is actually the opening that played during the Hideout Raid arc, and I think it did a really good job at getting me hyped for each episode. It starts off loud and strong. It took me by surprise at first, but it was an instant jam. And I especially love the part that went, Dream in! There was just so much power behind that word specifically, but also the entire song in general. It was all quick paced, so the song held my interest really well throughout the entirety. That is why I believe it deserves a spot so high on this list. Number 2 Polaris this is the sixth opening, and I am surprised that it made it up so high on my list. When I first listened to it, I really didn't enjoy it that much. As a matter of fact, it wouldn't be inaccurate to say that I very much did not like it. However, the more I listened to it, the more I started to like this opening. The visuals aren't the best part at all, but the song was very beautiful. I felt a sense of urgency with this opening, and it made it perfect for the overhaul arc where Deku was attempting to save Eri. And even though I didn't like all of the visuals, I definitely did like the first bits where we see Deku's hand from childhood to high school. I just thought that it was very cool to see how much it had changed, especially since he had scars on it now. His hand changing symbolizes Deku becoming more of a hero in a way. And while I love this opening, there is still one more that tops it. Number 1 Peace Sign This was the second opening and did it really surprise anyone that it made it to the number one spot? Where to even begin with this opening? The music was just amazing and it was definitely the best part, especially at the beginning with the oh oh oh. For some reason, that part in particular just stuck in my brain the most. I really liked the slow start with the visuals showing everyone training for the sports festival. It felt like the calm before the storm, then suddenly it picked up and the animation went crazy. While this opening didn't have the best visuals, they were still amazing and it went really well with the music. And when I watch this opening, I just feel like anything is possible, which is the perfect feeling to have when going into a tournament arc where the odds of winning are slim to none. It was just a brilliant opening and it is one that will be very difficult to top for the duration of this series. Well, that pretty much does it for the Hot Rodsters official My Hero Academia opening rankings. If you like this video, then you might want to check out another one. I cover a bunch of different media related topics on this channel, so I hope to see you in the next one. This has been the Hot Rodster. Peace out.